Hello my dear students welcome back to my channel so in this video i am sharing the key answers of sslc 2022 science examination dear students exam was so easy i hope that you all have performed your examination well you have answered maximum questions so whichever the videos i posted in my channel as final revision so 10 videos i posted maximum 90% of the questions not 90 95% of the questions from that 10 revision only including the chemical equations okay and last three videos which i posted that you can expect so most of the questions from that three pdf you can see that from the physics part and also in from the chemistry part those questions were only asked okay i feel that you all have done your examination well so now it is time to cross check the answers which you have written in the exam let me start from the physics part so if you look at the physics the first multiple choice question answer is electric generator the device used to produce the electricity is electric generator next question they have asked the formula that shows relationship between the potential difference and electric current and also resistance so right answer is i is equals to v by r i think you all have written these answers okay so next third multiple choice questions answer is they asked fleming's right hand rule the middle finger indicates answer is induced electric current fourth questions answer is beyond f1 so they asked to get diminished and real image of an object from the convex lens so object should be placed beyond the 2f1 okay and also fifth question i think this fifth question yesterday in yesterday's pdf i have given i think you all have seen okay so this fifth question is magnetic field lines do not intersect each other why see because if they intersect at the point of intersection needle shows two direction which is not possible so they do not intersect each other so next they asked si unit of power of lens this also i gave in pdf answer is diopter next they have asked a schematic diagram of electric circuit which includes electric cell electric bulb ammeter and plug key so you want to write this diagram especially now this uh, eighth question the same sum i gave in the pdf dear students i think you all have seen concave lens has a focal length 15 cm so you want to write the given image distance focal length and also firstly you have to find out the object distance so object distance you will get u is equals to minus 30 cm so by using the object distance then you have to find the magnification so this question was already given in the i think preparatory exam also same question was given okay yes moving to next question they have given the main component of biogas the main component of biogas is the methane and also they have asked to write the characteristics of the good fuel okay so you have to write any four points out of this less smoke easy availability inexpensive easy to store anything you can write next the 10th question they have asked to uh, asked you to write the ray diagram so by placing the object at 2f1 so you have to write this diagram and also write the nature of image is real inverted and same size question what are the functions of an earthing wire and it is necessary to connect the electrical appliances having the metallic body to earthing wire this question they have asked see deepa ma'am taught you this question already already she had explained you this question okay i think you all have written the answer main function of earthing wire is to protect the appliances from the sudden damage due to the leakage of current and why they have asked see the earthing of metallic appliances is necessary to prevent a severe electric shock to the users so the metallic body of electric appliances has to be connected to earth wire so any leakage of electric current is transferred to the ground okay so 12th question what are the advantages of connecting the electrical devices i think all these points deepa mam explained you all have heard her videos okay so i think you all have answered for the questions okay so here two questions uh, that is in 12th a and b is given advantages of connecting the electric devices uh, in parallel in uh, uh, electrical devices in parallel in the electric circuit instead of connecting them in the series so it is because parallel circuit divides the electric current through the electrical gadgets the total resistance in the parallel circuit is decreased so this is helpful particularly when each gadget has different resistance so and requires different current to operate properly so it is uh, always suggested to collect the electrical devices in parallel only so in the electrical circuit instead of in the series
Next, they have asked how are ammeter and voltmeter connected in an elect electrical circuit and their function. The ammeter is connected in series and voltmeter is connected in the parallel. So, that one you have to write in the examination. Thirteenth question they have asked is what is the refraction of light? State two laws of refraction of light and what is the refractive index of light and the refractive index of diamond is 2.42. So, you have to write this answer for the refraction and also you have to write the two laws. So, this particular B question I gave in the PDF. What is refractive index of light? Okay. So, refractive index of light is measure of how much speed of light changes when it enters from the medium from the air. And uh, what is the meaning of it? They have asked. See, the ratio of speed of light in the diamond will reduce it by the factor of 2.42 compared to its speed in the air. So, this is the meaning you have to write. So, moving to next chemistry part, dear students, in the chemistry part, so the first question they have asked is, gas liberated at cathode in electrolysis of water, answer is hydrogen. Fifteenth question, same I gave, atomic number of chlorine is 17, the period number and this element in the modern periodic table is, they have asked, so chlorine belongs to third, third period, you have to write. Then they have asked the modern periodic law. I told any one law will be asked. The properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number. Then definitely I told one uses of you know uh, the salts will be asked. Here the POP is given. So POP is used in making toys or it is used at the hospital to support the fractured bones. Any two points you can write. So 18th question they asked to write the structure of ethene. Same I gave in the PDF. Okay. Next, they have asked by giving a, a one of the redox reaction, they have asked name the substance which is oxidized and reduced. So, carbon is oxidized and the zinc oxide is reduced. 20th question, they have asked by giving, so pH of solution 5, 6, 7 which is more acidic. So, 5 is more acidic because it has more H plus ions. 21st question, they have asked, draw the diagram to show the arrangement of apparatus for testing the conductivity of salt solution. Actually, I have mentioned ele uh, electrolysis of water, but I told all the diagrams to learn. I hope you all have written this diagram. So, so 22nd question, they have asked, give reason. So, metals are used in the making vessels, they have asked. So, because metals have high boiling point, high melting point, and also they are the good conductors of electricity. And then they have asked, sodium metal is stored in kerosene because sodium is highly reactive metal so when we keep it open in the air what happens it catches the fire so that is what you have to write so another give reason also they have asked I think that you have written this only because it is very easy so 23rd question they have asked is so atomic size uh, in the uh, what is meant by atomic size what happens to atomic size when we move from left to, to right and top to bottom they have asked so yesterday in a live session I have explained this see atomic size means distance between center of atom from the nucleus to the outermost shell of that atom okay so on moving left from left to, to right atomic size decreases from top to bottom it increases so i have explained this already so 24th question they have asked you to write the reaction of zinc granules with the dilute sulfuric acid i think that all of you have answered for this particular question so next 24th question they have given some chemical equation and asked you to balance i think everybody has balanced this i have explained you how to balance the equation uh, by writing the equation in the chemical form so they have given calcium carbonate when it is heated forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so this is belongs to thermal decomposition then hydrogen combines with chlorine to form uh, hydrogen chloride so h2 plus cl2 gives rise to 2 hcl Magnesium combined with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. So, this is displacement reactions example. So, moving to next 25th question they have given is, so when we place the iron na nail in the copper sulfate sol solution, what will happen they have asked. Okay, it is very easy students. I think this is this one already I have explained in the, you know, uh, many times I have explained in the revision part. Okay, see when we place iron nail in the copper sulfate solution, as iron is more reactive, it displaces the copper from copper sulfate solution. So blue color copper sulfate solution will change its color to, you know, light green. So this one I have explained. Most of you have heard this. You all have written the answer I feel. So next 26 question they have asked what is meant by isomers. See compounds having same molecular formula, different structural formula are called isomers. Then they have asked you to write the structural formula and molecular formula of butane. I think that you all have written this. So next they have asked what is meant by catenation. So self-linking property of carbon is called as catenation. Then they asked 
to you to write the general formula of alkin general formula of alkin is cnh2n so next now let us move for biology biology was so easy 2027th question multiple choice question answer is ozone o3 so next they have asked sexually transmitted disease by virus so it is aids next they have asked what is meant by decomposers see decomp what is the role of decomposers they have asked decomposers break down complex organic substances into simple one next they told uh, you to write why testes are located below the abdominal cavity testis is located below the abdominal cavity because for the formation of sperms it need the lower temperature then definitely i told any one plant hormone they will ask see two hormones they have asked auxin and cytokinin i feel that everybody answered auxin helps in the cells to grow longer cytokinin helps in cell division then they have asked longitudinal section of flower so i think you all have written this so next 30 next 33rd question they have asked why arteries have thicker walls because see arteries pump the blood from heart to different parts of the body so the pressure is high so that is the reason they have thicker walls so next they asked why it is important to separate the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood so it is important because so by separating oxygenated and deoxygenated blood so the organisms can maintain their body temperature and it helps them to keep their you know uh, body warm and also to help to supply the efficient supply of oxygen so next they have asked this children mono hybrid checkerboard they have asked you to write the f2 generation so you have to write this so phenotypic ratio is 3 is to 1 genotypic ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 next they have asked what is meant by tropic level and why is flow of energy uh, is always unidirectional this particular point also i have explained so next 36th question they have asked the main factor see 35th question various steps in the food chain at which the transfer of food takes place is called tropic level flow of energy is always unidirectional because most of the energy released by the tropic level in the form of heat uh, will be used in the metabolic activities only 10% of energy will transfer from one tropic level to another okay that is why it is always unidirectional and energy transferred will not be returned back to previous organism then they have asked the main factors which leads to the formation of new species so it is same as you know um, uh, the mechanism of evolution so answer is natural selection genetic drift geographical isolation and mutation next acquired traits cannot be inherited the same question in different way are asked experiences of an individual may only affect the somatic cells it will not you know transfer to dna so the change in non reproductive tissues cannot be passed from dna to germ cell or you can easily write so acquired traits are acquired during lifetime it cannot be transferred to next generation because it does not you know uh, transfer to dna cells so like this also you can write next they asked what are fossils how can it uh, how can we estimate the age of fossils so fossils are the remains of uh, or the impressions of the organisms that lived in the remote past i think you all have answered this so estimating the age of fossils already i told by using the relative method and also the carbon dating so these are the two methods that we use to estimate the age of fossil and 37th question they have asked uh, which molecule is formed during the first step of respiration by the breakdown of glucose molecule into the cytoplasm mention the types of respiration and write any two differences between them they have asked say so told they will ask about aerobic respiration and an anaerobic respiration see this by keeping this schematic representation i am explaining the answer okay which molecule is formed during the first step of respiration by breakdown of glucose molecule into cytoplasm so the answer is you have to write pyruvate okay pyruvate you should not write this schematic representation so you should write only the pyruvate okay so i'm explaining the answer listen mention the types of respiration types of respiration is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration you have to write and uh, differences between is aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen so no need of writing this schematic representation which answer i'm telling to you now you have to write that then they asked if you are not you know attending this question you, you could have attended this question also they asked what are the factors that is essential for photosynthesis sunlight carbon dioxide and water is essential and uh, events occur during photosynthesis they have asked absorption of light energy into chlorophyll conversion of light energy into chemical energy by splitting up of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen reduction of carbon dioxide into 
carbohydrates so this is the answer you have to write so next finally they have asked human brain diagram so yesterday only i told either they will ask human brain or human heart so they ask you to write the human brain and ask you to label cerebrum and cerebellum this is same which is asked in the state preparatory examination dear students i think that you all have answered all the questions in examination so now you can uh, calculate that how many marks you got in examination the exam was so easy okay so now so uh, you all have heard the answers so it is time to enjoy your holidays now so everybody rest and uh, use your holidays to rest and also learn something which is useful so thank you for watching this video